a couple simple things that authors can do to get the word out about social media with their work is they can start building listening stations and it, the easiest way to start looking at that is just Google the phrase grow bigger ears and that'll walk you through some steps but essentially start listening to where people are talking about your book. I do a lot of communication with authors whether or not they respond back to me using social channels. I'll blog about them, I will talk to them on Twitter and see if they respond back. And when they do, I immediately have a deeper loyalty and an affinity for their further projects. Uh, when they don't, I remember it. Whether or not I should, as a passionate reader and somebody who shared my time and said, I really love your book, it matters. Neil Gaiman's doing a great job. Neil is garnering tons of praise, not just for the quality of his literary works, but how he, he uh, interacts with the crowd. Paolo Coelho is another great example, so there's a lot of opportunity in that space. Authors have an opportunity to build a relationship, but just like in meeting somebody in a room, we don't walk into the room and say, here I am, here's my book, I'm awesome. We say, hi, how are you, what do you do, what are you interested in? The opportunity is to build a great relationship, but don't do it by starting by talking about your book. You can, by using search tools on the web, find the people who would be more likely into your book. If I'm Scott Westerfeld and I'm pitching my new book, Leviathan, then I'm looking for people talking about steampunk. I can find myself into those conversations and not be so forward as to start talking about my book but then there's always that moment in a conversation where someone goes well what do you do and I happen to be the author of this book and it's a far more genuine experience and it's a better opportunity and what comes from this is a much more uh, legitimate two-way as opposed to here's my dumb thing Online conversation affords us the opportunity to do one-to-many as closely as we can to one-to-one. -to -one. The difference between how we used to market used to just be news, here's our dumb thing, and now it's, Mac, I really want you to know, I know that you have this big thing for uh, gardening books, and I've got the best one in the world for you. And the opportunity is to really make it about the person. And so you can still do one-to-many, but if you can do it in a way that you do one-to-many of the same mindedness, then that's where the real magic can happen. There's a chance within social media to connect with groups who uh, all have an affinity, but then there's also a chance to make it feel as personable as possible, and that's what we should strive for, because anything else is just recreating what hasn't been working so well. The need for authors and publishers isn't as married as it used to be, and I think that there's a lot of worry to be had in this, because I think just like uh, GM and all the car companies thought they were in the business of selling automobiles, not moving people from space to space, I think publishers think they're in the business of uh, getting things printed and putting them on shelves. And I think that's a dangerous space because honestly at this point Amazon could say to me, Chris we'd love to publish your book and instead of a 6% margin or a 4% margin, we'll give you 40% and we are the distribution and no you don't get brick and mortar. But you know, you'll get this great online wealth, and you'll get Audible, and you'll get the entire wealth behind Amazon. O'Reilly could make the same maneuver. There's so many different uh, d digital distribution opportunities, even on print on demand, that the uh, barrier to entry is less for a dis the person who owns the channel, and the, the uh, barrier t to innovate is much less. So there's an, m many more opportunities to do augmented uh, opportunities. So as we're seeing more and more in this event of the digital experience, we're also seeing where uh, adjunct products can be sold better than your traditional publisher. Uh, it's definitely desperate times and it's definitely time for desperate measures and I fear and feel that several of the, the publishers here really need to heed that more than they ever did before and I felt last year was a clarion call but if we haven't made this decision in 2010 then what?